I think I was one of the first people to arrive here last year, uh, first day, and this time I think it's much bigger, much more uh, knowledge, very driven towards training people, which is workshops. And although I was not there yesterday, I think I heard amazing things about the workshops uh, being conducted. Also, I think the speakers, uh, the topics that are being presented here are so much needed for the Indian dev founder market. Essentially, uh, I think this time it's going to be much, much more value for everyone who attends uh, this event. And I'm looking forward to everything, literally from panels to one minute session and now Balaji is speaking right now. So yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> This is the first time in history that we have opportunity to sort of formally structure a community and blockchain enables that. Before this, mostly what we had was audience. So when we look at uh, Web2 socials, it's mostly media, not a network. So Instagram is, yes, people have their friends, but mostly it's talking at them, not talking to them. Uh, whereas what blockchain now enables is one-on-one, one-on-one -on -one, one -on connections, which are highly curated, whether it's NFT communities, whether it's, let's say, Pudgies, like Huddle, uh, you know, uses. Uh, a lot of these things just did not exist before. And that combined with the, with the curation capability, transparency and accountability that blockchain brings is what enables uh, real communities to be built, which is many to many connections, not one to many connections. What Instagram, Facebook, I think Twitter to a certain extent has enabled is one to many connections. And that's okay. That was a great iteration. Now we are moving to the next level when it comes to community building. And I think also in this regard, Huddle plays a very big role because gated community communications inbuilt is something that's uh, game changing. And I think a lot of communities are already using it. So. I think a lot more uh, seasoned founders coming in now. Uh, I think a lot more traditional money coming in now. So I don't like it, but it's going to formalize. We have regulations and I feel that almost everyone has accepted that there's going to be regulations, which may not be entirely bad. It's good to bring in some stability. There's just too much volatility in the industry right now. and. Uh, Next five years are going to be, I think, probably uh, less t-shirts, more suit ties, uh, which also means that more systems and structures, less volatility. Uh, people have some kind of predictable careers as well, which hasn't been the case mostly for people working in the industry, for founders. Uh, I think now the playbooks will be written in the next two years, three years or so, which existed in form of YC knowledge in Web2, we don't have anything like that. So we don't know what is a playbook to build a particular type of, let's say, DeFi startup. Now that will be written. So uh, I think it's less exciting because there is less uncertainty, but uh, that's what we've been praying for, right? All of us have been talking that there is too much monkey business here. Now it's time to clean that up. So, okay, cleanliness also is a little boring. So both, both ways I'm looking at it. Uh, so, generally, I think Indian founders are great at tech. There is a dearth of business understanding for them. Uh, it's somehow assumed that if you build a great product, things will happen. Uh, tech and product is maybe 20% of a founder's job. So, we will be looking at a lot more founders who understand the user uh, as much as they understand the tech. Right now, mostly they understand tech very well, but if you ask them five questions about user demographics, what is your target audience, how are you segmenting them, uh, what, how are you trying to build the apps into their daily habits, uh, I think that's lacking. Uh, it's not a problem because it's very nascent and we have not had the head start that most Western countries, especially US had, because crypto was born in some, at least Ethereum was born in, in that sense there. We're catching up, but I'm pretty bullish on founders who are working for 
for a problem rather than saying, okay, this is a great tech, let's apply ZK somewhere. That's one approach, but someone says, okay, this is a problem. Now I'm looking for tech that can solve this problem. And I think uh, it's really been good. It's just been two days of this week as well. But we, I've met some amazing founders here, uh, building some very, very uh, cool stuff. So looking forward to seeing what comes at the end of this week.